So now we are going to see a very important topic called a movement request. Fine. It is equivalent to move orders of EBS basically. Fine. There is no change at all. Fine. So everything is exactly the same. So let me go on and share my screen. So movement request is the one we are going to see. Thank you, Manjana. So we are going to see what the picking rules and then the movement request. It is exactly the same like what we have in EBS. Sometimes there is no difference at all. We will not go that far. So here, I will now go to mine now. I will now go to SCM training, Oracle SCM training, and then I will now open up the Fusion inventory documentation. So here, I will now go to one. What happens there? It is known as move orders actually in EBS. Fine. I have not renamed it. Nana, is sub inventory transfers over? It is over. Fine. You came late. Actually. Okay. okay. Is that okay. Because, sub inventory transfers are public before. Fine. So go there. So middle transfers. Fine. Go there. It is a moment request. Okay. Fine. I have renamed it actually. So we are now going to begin the movement request. So go there. It's a very tough topic. And then uh, you have to, everybody has to understand this now, fine? If you cannot understand it, you stop and do because I'll be doing it slowly because it's such a difficult topic. And so I will never go at a higher speed actually on this now, fine? It will be going slow only. Fine? It's a very difficult topic. And then you have to understand it. Now, fine? Any, any doubts, you ask me. And then when you're running the report, when you're running this record, please take notes now, fine? Because next time you won't have the patience or mood or time to again run the record now. So here uh, I worked in uh, Ispath Industries, Mumbai, as well as in Steel Authority. And my work experience has started way back in 1982, actually. So I have depicted one of the layouts, actually. Fine. The layouts of the plant will now vary from a client to client. So for understanding purposes, I'm putting my company's name. So we have a, what's called the inventory yard here. Fine. In this place, uh, we have an inventory always over here, but then uh, we will be having the locators, the inward, we call them as the inward staging locators, actually. And then we have a rejected materials as a locator, actually. And then we have a QC test bench, and then we there. And then a QA department will be very near to the inventory, fine, will be there. And then we'll have QC, QC passed materials, fine, which is also available here, QC test. So whenever a supplier's material come in, they will be keeping it on the inward staging locators, and then they will now hand over the paper to the inventory office. So these people will now look at it and then they will now physically verify uh, how many packings are there, everything. They will now stamp it as received and then give it to the driver. It will now go away. It is now received. So it is now what was received and then delivered also into the inventory. So then the QA department will be called. So they will now come and then draw this item into the QC, QC dispatch. And then they will not. So, uh, sorry, sorry, Nana. Like okay. I'm interrupting here. Uh, now I'm I'm new for our like so now we are checking movement request or picking rules. Yeah, both the things we are going to see. We are going to see both, both things. Okay, okay. So we will be setting up the picking rules as well as moment request together. Right? They, are, they are not separate actually. So Okay, okay. So both the things we are going to see together. So picking rules and moment requests are what I mean, that club together basically. So this team, fine, let us say if the motor has to run at 1,500 RPM, they will know what happens, the power it and then see it. And then there will be some uh, uh, standard... Uh, what happens the uh, quality checks and other things uh, they will not uh, what happens segregate so the qc past material they will be keeping it in this place and then the, the rejected one will be kept over there sometimes what happens uh, there will be a small crack on the monitor top so they will not reject it and then they will not put a yellow tag putting the reason on it so i was a materials manager and then uh, at around three o'clock i walked into the inventory and then i will now straight away go to the rejected area and then see the tag so the monitor is having a what happens a small crack in the top i will ask him are you power it and then see so once when you power the monitor is working perfectly. And then if I'm going to reject it and run the supplier, the supplier will not take at least one week to correct the problem. Whereas I am in urgent need of this material actually. So I will now say inventory manager, fine, go the AIS Kolelo, someone call it on that. Because in a procure to pay life cycle, the requester is the ultimate authority. Everybody provides the service to them. The inventory man provides the service to the requester. The QA department provides the service to the requester. And then the payables clerk provides the service to the requester. Requester is the ultimate man in a, P2, in a P2P life cycle. And so I am the man who has asked for this material. I raise the demand. And then upon me, the purchase officer has now placed the purchase order. The supplier has supplied. All the people around me provide a service to me. So I will now accept it. And in the next day morning, what happens? The QA department will now make a lot of halagulas. Are we have now made a proper QC test, whereas Nana is not accepting our results. Then the vice president will ask me, Nana, what's the problem? No, sir, there is a very simple problem. What happens? I have taken it because there is urgency. So if we say some justification, even VP will not say anything at all to me. 
because i am the man who has to wait in maintain the what am i the 100% availability of uh, equipments and the uh, things is my responsibility and so what am i the nobody will question me actually. so the qc past materials will be coming over here and then what am i the we have a, a custom ibm system through which we will now perform a put away <clears throat> so the put away process will ensure that all the rms uh, raw material stores are basically what happens equally uh, loaded actually so it will all be getting equal loaded so that what happens you will not be having msd msd is a big problem material handling damage is a big problem so msd has to be minimized and so what happens we will not load it uniformly it will be coming away then afterwards we will be having a work in process area so here the manufacturing will take place so for the manufacturing we have planners available now. fine we have three types of planners here so one is what item planners so that they we are making 50 finished goods so and we are having five planners so every uh, planner will be given 10 10 items to manufacture to monitor that and then we have sub inventory planners so the responsibility of the sub inventory planners in our company is what they have to ensure that this is a staging area so they have what happens a sufficient space for it and then the fgs also so every fgs and every staging area will be allocated to different sub inventory planners so that what i was when at the time of material movement from the fgs to staging area they have to make a room for what i was the movement of material it may be very very much inside but it will be uh, lying at the deep corner upon so it will be brought to the beginning from the front and then at the day but tomorrow morning it has to be moved to staging area means what they will now bring it to the front and then they will move it because to avoid the msd msd is a very huge amount right? it uh, accounts to around approximately 5% of the total cost now inventory cost so msd is very huge and then uh, even uh, uh, md will be bothered on seeing the msd actually. so metal handling damage is a very huge because the metal gets damaged crushed pulverized and then it is getting pilferage everywhere so in so much of a problem are coming so since it is a huge money we lose because of uh, wrong metal handling so we are given a very strict instruction on this one it all depends upon the company to company so in our we have org planners also the org planners will be what happens the bosses and then they will be uh, every item planners and sub unit planners will be reporting to org planners right it depends upon company to company it will vary so i am not just saying about how our company works now then <clears throat> so the item planners will be starting to give their discrete job orders that is the responsibility of the item planners so how they do is they will now see the incoming sales orders and that they will now marketing departments forecast fine right? there are the two inputs based upon which they will now look at the finished goods stock and fgs stock and then if the sales orders and then the future forecast do not ensure sufficient material in the fgs then they will now place the order right, for manufacturing etc so item planners are ultimate people who are responsible for making a what happens a discrete job order on the manufacturing area so it will be done. so once it is manufactured again what happens it will be come and then kept on the different fgs right, finished goods stores etc now our real activity of movement request comes into picture so here we will have a picking process so we have to pick it from this place so uh, let us say this is the january material this is going to be a february material and then this is going to be a march material this is going to be april material so normally uh, under normal circumstances the material which has come from the manufacturing first has to be uh, what happens uh, depleted first actually it has to be sent to the customers so we will be having a what first in first out so for normal activity what happens it will be a first in first out by which what happens we will now allocate the material so january will be allocated if every january is exhausted they will now go to the february allocation then the march allocation then the what happens it will this thing so likewise what happens it will be going one by one like this so but in case of a revision let us say revision will not be first in first out for example i am now manufacturing hamam so luxus now brought a new fragrance <coughs> <coughs> so i have a a revision of hamam so to match the lux fragrance i have now created b revision so the b revision is now matching the lux fragrance and so we will now issue only b to the customers fine so as far as revision is concerned it is always last in first out it is not a first in first out it is always the last in first out. so that we will do it so that what happens we will be the customer will be getting the latest material which you are basically manufacturing and then the older stock we will now clear by clearance sale we will now give what happens the buy one get one free or is a 20% discount if you be buy b and then on a you will now get a 30% discount likewise what happens with the clearance sale we will now clear a <clears throat> with something so but issue is always on b right? any new sales orders which are coming you do so your picking rule is a very complex rule in fact what happens uh, when we were working upon with the consultants we had discussion on the picking rules for more than a week time to derive the philosophy of picking up so picking philosophy is a very important one in some companies it will be taking a very long time to what happens uh, arrive at the picking rule actually <clears throat> so what is the place from what happens we want so from here what happens it will be brought over 
So once when it comes to this place, once when you decided the picking role, so once when the sales order comes in, what happens? We are going to move it from the MGS to staging. And MGS to staging, we are going to move it. So once when you move it, what happens? It will be brought to the staging area. So here we will now clean the finished goods. We will not take the net weight. We will not pack it in boxes. And then take the gross weight, affix name plate there, and then make statutory warning like handle with care, etc., etc., and then make the consignment ready for ship confirmation. Actually, so this staging activity will now vary from company to company. Every company will be having its own way of staging actually. So depending upon that, it will be very much. So you are not going to stage it. Actually. So once when the customer vehicle comes in, we will now lift the pack and then keep it on the vehicle and then we will now say Tata bye bye and then go to the customer land. So this is how our work comes. Sometimes what happens, we don't manufacture it. We buy and then sell. So we call them as a cross docking. So we do cross docking. So from the inward staging locators to the staging area, we will now cross dock. We will now remove the supplier stack, everything. All the stickers, everything we will not remove. We will now affix our own, our own name plates and tax with it. And then, so cross docking also is very much possible. Right? So depending upon this, what happened, the company will be doing different actions. So this is a generic layout of our company, but uh, the company layout will now vary from different different uh, things. <clears throat> so any doubts on the, what happened, the generic process of this now? Right? So now we are going to concentrate on the picking rule, right? picking rule and moment request action. This exercise. Yeah. So picking rules and moment request is now going to help you in allocating the middle middle allocation. Allocating the middle is a very important one. So we are going to do it, right? So now I'm not going to do it manually. So I'm not going to allocate the material manually. Manual allocation I'm going to do. But in the industry, what happens, there are three ways of automatic allocation actually. One by the inventory. So whenever you have a replenishment, we call them as a replenishment. So whenever you perform inventory replenishments, the system will be, what happens, creating the moment request as well as it will now allocate the material. Also. Creation and allocation of the picking rules is automatic by an inventory replenishment. Similarly, when a sales order is now done, right, the sales order has got one automatic one called pick way moment request. So it will be creating a pick way moment request automatically. And then that the, the appropriate picking rule will not pick on them. It will not bring it to the staging area. Right? And then in the manufacturing, we have one thing called material pick. So either a replenishment or a pick way or a material pick will be automatically moving the material from your FGS to staging. So you'll be learning it at the appropriate uh, training actually. So in this inventory, we are going to see the replenishment technique, which is now automatically creating the more moment request will be created automatically. So once when you go for the replenishment actually, inventory replenishment. So on the sales orders, we will now see the material uh, pick wave moment request. And then in the manufacturing, Tijil will now teach you about the material pick actually. So to begin with, what happens is we are going to do a manual way of configuring the picking rule as well as your moment request actually. Any doubts? Hi, Nana. Tell me. Yeah, so is this picking rules are uh, now you are saying that it is applicable for from finished good area to staging area when your material yeah. is moving. Yeah. But is this applicable for uh, taking material from raw material to production area as well? Suppose some raw materials has the expired production is basically it is not a what happens a sub inventory actually with the production. So here also we can very well do it. That is what's called I told you the material pick. So in the raw material stores, what happens we have one material pick which will be picking it from one of the RMS into the production actually. Yeah. So this is on the sales side. On the sales side, FGS to thing. On the manufacturing side, you know, you can, what happens, uh, pick it from one of the RMS into the production. Right. That is called material pick. Correct. Yeah, but, this but, is one but, of the pick wave actually. But some raw materials, if some raw materials has the expiry dates, raw materials as well. Yeah, everything can be configured on your uh, picking rule actually. Picking yeah. rule can be configured for whichever is going to expire first. All these things we can very well do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So either the first in first out or a first expiry first out, so we can configure a picking rules accordingly. So RMS to production is material pick, and then MGS to staging is pick wave, and then uh, inventory replenishment we are going to see in this training. These are the three automatic ones. And then we are going to begin our activity with a manual picking rules and moment request. It's a very tough topic. You have to understand everything very clearly. <coughs> Good then, fine. <coughs> no doubts. Fine. We'll not go ahead on this one. <coughs> we'll not go ahead on this one. <coughs> so we have one moment request lab exercise there. Okay. On the fusion limit documentation, we have opened up the moment request. Now we are going to have a look at the moment request lab exercise. Fine. Let me open that. Double click and open that. So I'm now going slow actually because what happens is a very tough topic and so we are not going to do it. So let me first of all create my first item. The MR test item I'm going to create. So let me go on and create my items. 
So let us now go to this place and click on the what happens the star icon and then I go to the product information management. I'm going to create an item. So it is the MR test item I'm going to create. This is the second item which I'm going to create. The first item is a zero one item. So I am now going to get the zero two item for MR. MR is the moment request actually. MR is the moment request actually. Moment. So let me go on and create item. Click on create item. I am now going to create it. <laughs> I am going slow purposely because what happens is it is not an easy topic. You will now find it very difficult actually. Fine. I have now put the master. I have now stepped down my speed actually. Click on OK. So the second item I am going to create is the MR test item actually. Any doubts, you stop and ask me. Otherwise, I will assume that whatever I speak is understood by you. So go there. So it's a K01, 02. I will now say MR. Let's go test type. MR test. So I will now call like what? What's that? So uh, I will normally have what? K0102. So I will now say it's a MR. Let's go test. MR test. So MR test underscore one. I don't know whether I'll be getting a second item or not. I'm not sure about it. it is second item. I will not paste it. In. So the remaining parameters, I'm not going to set up any of the specifications actually. Thank you that. So click on associations and then I'm not directly associations. Go to the actions and then go to select ad. So let me associate my child org. So case zero one. Right? I will now associate the child org one. Right? This is I have now made a mistake here. Actually, it must be child org one. This is child two. Right? So k zero one one is the one. I'm going to assign it. Select it. So go to the left hand side and then click on select and then click on apply and then click on done. So by which what happens? The item gets assigned to the child. Dog. So my K0102 is ready. K0102 is ready. Save and close by which what happens? Is okay. <clears throat> so let us now go to the back to this time. So now uh, we have two dynamic, uh, what happens, I'm going to give an order for picking actually, and I'm going to give an order for picking. Dyna 1 will be having a picking order 1, Dyna 2 will be having a pick order 2. So I'm now go on and set up these orders. So it is a simulation and then reality, you have to go and then work with the inclined and then accordingly. So go to the search, search. It's called manage percentage, sub percentage, look up percentage. Let us now set up the picking order for that. Yeah. So let us now, first of all, this is already in the K011. So uh, what happens? We don't have any Dyna because I have not done it yesterday. And it's a different instance. Let me create a Dyna. So it's a K01.1 underscore Dyna underscore one. So it is not having uh, sufficient characters. Dyna1. So Dyna1. I will not paste it to here. So here it is okay. The story locator control is going to be dynamic, dynamic entry. So location is what K01, and then you have. So I am not choosing the lock one, now. lock one. I am choosing the two one. So it is a dynamic entry, and then here if you go there, you will not see whether any a three segmental structure is there of somebody else. Fine, because I have not used that one. Fine, TM, uh, which is good now. Fine, anybody can tell me which one I can use now. One of the three segmental structures I am going to use. Now. So you can use two. No, two don't I want three now. My three will be good betting it. So I'll now use the TM three segment on IT three segment and TM seems to be good now. I want to use the TM. Who is TM? <coughs> so click on save and close. So the dynamic entry with the TM now. Right? TM uh, three segments is right? click on save and close. And similarly, what I want to go there, I will now create one more dyna two. Right? Dyna two, I'm going to create. So it's a key zero one one underscore time underscore two. Dyna two. So take, click on the description and now go there. It's a storage only. So the locator control is what dynamic. Location is K01. I can give it app. Lock one now. So here I will now choose the TM. So two dynamic and also so click on save and close. So two submitters are coming. So we need Dana 1 and Dana 2. So here I am now going to set the picking order actually. Let me go there. I will not keep my customer on this place. Thank you. I'm going to do the picking order actually. So the picking order is one for this now. Right? One, the picking order manager. Right? Thank you. Seven close. Dana 2 will be having a picking order too. Dana 2 will go there. So click on it. If you're making a mistake, please point out to me so that what happens, I should not fail during demo actually. So if I'm making any mistake, please point out to me then and then. 
and so forth. So it's not having a picking order of those. So one and two. Now, Dana 1 will have two locators, two and 20 dollars. Two and 20 dollars. So I will now keep my cousin on Dana 1. And one. So click on the manage locators. Let me create the locators. Manage locators. Okay. So click on the first one. Two and 20 dollars are the two locators. <coughs> so both of them. The two, two, two. Fine. Save and create another. Save and create another. So he is also maintaining my own no, fine. row rack pane. He is not maintaining it. So we have to do this naming convention as per the end client's requirement, actually. As per the end client record, so it is a 22, 22, 22. So click on seven close, we have it. So now we will be having an order here. Right? Two, two will be having an order of one, and then 22, 22 will be having an order of two. So keep your cursor on two, two, and then click on it now. So here, whatever. The type is not a mandatory one because it's a mandatory one only for the warehouse management system, that is a lock file system. Otherwise, we can leave it blank, actually. So the picking order is one. Here. Meta state is also active. Click on seven close. You know that. So it is having a picking order of one. I will now keep my cursor on this place. I will now click on there. I will now put the 22 as a picking order as two. Picking order as two. So click on that and close. It's a very tough one. You know that. So we are now done. Two locators for the Dana one. So we'll know Dana two will be having what? 33 and then 44. Now, fine. We're going to have 33 and 44 Dana two. You know so let us now simulate this. Now, fine. So I will now keep my cousin on Dana two. So let us now go to the manage locators and then let me get the locator over here. So it's what 33, 33, 33. Save and create another 44, 44, 44. 44, 44, 44. So click on save and close. So here I'm not giving any orders for this now for my training, whatever we are not going to give it. In reality, everything will be having an order. So now we are going to make four transactions now: transaction one, transaction two, transaction three, and transaction four. We're going to make these four transactions. So, you want that. so in the top, what happens? I will now go there, click on it. I will now go to what? <coughs> control Hutch, not Control Hutch G01. I'm going to query. And then let me replace it. The number now. My number is what? K01. K01. So, I will now replace all. And click on it. I will now click on replace all. So, all of you can replace with your numbers. Now, click on replace all. So, everything is replaced. There are four replacements. Fine, go there. Click on save this file. <coughs> will now save. So, now. Uh, I made a mistake here. Fine. The item has to be lot controlled actually. Fine. It's, not a, it's not a lot control actually. So let us now try to bring in the lot control again. I made a mistake here. Fine. So let us now go to this place. Let me query my item and then try to what happens, enable the lot control. So click on it. The item has to be lot control. Go to the product information management. Let me query my second item K0102. I'm going to make a query now. I have a habit of what happens is speaking fast actually. Fine. If you are finding difficulty, especially what happens, the Americans and then the Australians will be finding it difficult. So you please ask questions so that what happens when I'm explaining it, I will understand, oh, oh, this is not explained properly. So I will not repeat it. So whenever you're finding any difficulty in understanding it, and again ask. Because the dialect changes actually. So uh, even though I try to control, but it goes out of my control actually. <laughs> that is the biggest problem for me. Thank you, it. Indians can very well understand, but uh, other countries, especially those who are in English or Americans and then Australians, they will be finding because I found this problem in the previous trainings actually. Mm -hmm. So go to the browse items. So please ask me. Fine. And then tell me. So I will now query my K0102 is the item. So that K0102 is the item. Fine. Click on search. Fine. I have to enable the log control. I have not done it now. So let me go to the master org and then try to enable it. I will now click on the hyperlink and then try to enable the control log control. Remember, uh, we are not made any transaction at all. So before transactions, sometimes it will allow actually. And go to the specifications. If the transactions are done, then the controls cannot be changed actually. Once when you have the on hand quantity, then it will not allow. Sometimes what happens if you empty the on hand quantity, it will allow you to change the controls. Now, I'm not very sure about it. So, but if you have on hand, it will definitely will not. So click on the inventory now. I'm not trying to change the control. So go there. Lot control, I'm going to make it the full control. So it's not full control. Fine. Starting prefix. Fine. Something I'm going to give because I'm going to use my own prefixes actually. Fine. Correct. Not, not, not. I'm not using the shelf life control. Now, fine. In reality, if you want, you can even test it. So it is allowing me. Fine. If you have a stock, it will not allow me. So lot control is a full control. Fine. I'm now going to have test only on the lot. Now, fine. Only on the lot, I'm going to test. So click on save and close. And then after it is done, let me make a search again. <clears throat> we'll now see. Well, now click on search again. I will now search for it. So once when you search for it, I will now go to the child org and then see whether the if it is the MCA, it will be getting reflected over here automatically. And 
So I go to the specifications and I click on the specifications. Then go on and see what I'm going to do. I'll now go to the inventory. If it is the MCA, it will be restricting over here immediately because you cannot make a change. Okay? So it is the OC actually. So let us not make a change. Here also, let me make it. Full control. <coughs> go there. So it is a man underscore point one not one something I'm giving it. So I done it. So you see, the shelf life control is basically MCA. These are all what happens to OC actually. But Sir, Lord, yeah. Lord doesn't have any control with the organization parameter, right? Organization parameter do not have any control. There's only a org, org controlled attribute and master controlled attribute is now being making a setting. I allow you to edit on this. So click on save and close by which what happens? It is not. No, no, sir. What is OC and MCA? Org controlled I mean. attribute and master controlled attribute. Yesterday oh, okay. it is a record. No, fine. You just watch the record. It will be exactly the same. Sure, just sure. watch the record because you might have come late and not fine. Watch the record. So OC and MCA properties must be known to you. Fine, so drop it down and then click on save and close. Now, and we are able to save it now. So we are able to make a change on the child arm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a result now. Fine, so I'm going to make a result now. Fine, so let me go and then make a result. Now. So go there. So let me go to the what's called click on the star icon and then I go to the inventory and then I'm now going to simulate this now. Fine, I'm going to make a simulation of this. So I'm going to make four transactions now. Fine, first transaction I'm going to make it now. Fine, so the last one I'm going to make it no more. So click on what happens. So go there. <clears throat> so go to this place. I will now go to the create miscellaneous transaction. We are going to simulate all the four. So drop down. I will now make it to the miscellaneous result. Okay. Miscellaneous result. Miscellaneous result. Miscellaneous result. So go there. It is a 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1000. I am going to make four transactions over here. I click on S1. I will now make four transactions over here. So click on plus now and I'm going to make two transactions. If you make a mistake, please point out to me. Because if you make a mistake here, I cannot simulate the training as a, this particular, uh, what happens, the MR, MR on the picking rule now. Okay, 0, 1, 0, 2, and then you have given. I will now click on the edit details and then go there inside. So first, I'm going to choose the Dana 1. So Dana 1, I will now choose my friend. So sub inventory is what? Dana 1. Dynamic 1, I'm choosing it. So Dynamic 1, I'm choosing it. So, uh, since there is a dynamic one, we can even create our locators during transactions. Remember? So, 2 iPhone 2 iPhone 2, you know, see, fine. 2 iPhone 2 iPhone 2. Fine. I will not, otherwise, what happens? I will not pick it up from the list of values because I don't know whether the iPhone has been put or star has been put. I'm not very sure about it because it's a dynamic. It will not allow you to even create it actually. I will not put 2 2 2 and click on OK. And I'll see that the iPhone has been put or star. Yes, very good. Nice. Yes, put iPhone only. So, it's the one. So, on 2 2 2, what happens? I'm not going to have what? A quantity transaction what is going to be 100. So, 100. So here, after 100 only, lot is coming. Fine, go there. So, but if you put the lot, the quantity will vanish. Now, fine. I will now pick up the lot exactly from here. Now. Take away the lot. So the moment you put a lot, the quantity will vanish. Fine, give it up. The quantity will vanish. And then afterwards, again, we have to put the quantity. So lot first and then the quantity next. Fine. I should have what happens, logged out and logged in after the sub unit is created. I have not done it. Okay, it's working. So I'm now doing it. Otherwise, I would have logged out and logged in. So otherwise, whatever will be coming automatically, lot first and then when I put a quantity only, lot is coming up. Fine. Because it is not logged out and logged in. It doesn't matter. It is working actually. So here, 2, 2, 2, and then 103 lot, 100 quantities. You know, see, fine. 1, 2, 2, 2, 103 quantities, and 100 quantities. So click on OK. The first line is not complete. We will now simulate the second transaction. Fine. Click on first line. I'm going to simulate the second transaction. So go there. The K, 0, 1, 0, 2, and then give a tap. Watch it keenly because it is a very tough one, and then you have to understand it very clearly. If you don't understand it, you will now find a lot of issues in the problem in the field actually. Yeah. So the next one is what again? Dana one only. Yeah. So dynamic one, fine. drop it down. I will now choose what dynamic one. So dynamic one. And then I always, because of uh, some issues, whatever, I will now choose it from the list of values only. Fine, click on search. And then I will now choose it from the list of values. Fine. And even write it manually, don't do it. I even write it, I can write it. Now. So yet yeah, lot is not coming. So I will now put 100 more here. And then you have the lot will be only. So we'll now go on and take a copy the lot and find the same lot only. And the same lot. Yeah. Paste it over here, find the tab, and then put the quantities under. So the second transaction is getting simulated on Dyna 1 only. On 22, we are going to have a stock of 100 now. So click on OK. It is not done. We'll now go on and simulate our third transaction and click on plus now. Find. We are now going to simulate the third transaction. And uh, it's a key 0, 1, 0, 2, and then give a tab. So click on edit now. Click on edit. So sub inventory will now go the third transaction. What Dana two actually? It is Dana two and drop it down. <coughs> we'll now choose the Dana two, <coughs> and then the locator. We'll now choose from the list of values. 
33 is alpha that's not no such no point so now choose the 33 <coughs> 33 and 44 are the two ones fine select it and then click on okay it's not coming okay. so the lock order is coming and put 100 over here and then come to the lock the lot what happens it is a 104 lot now i put it on wait now go there so paste the lot over here. paste the lot over here and then give it up the 100 will go away now fine Please, in one training, I made a mistake and then it was not getting simulated at all properly. <laughs> so, Diana 2, 33, lot 4, no, 1, not 4. So, it is a Diana 2, 33, and then lot 1, not 4. No, everything is okay. So, click on okay. The third transaction is now getting simulated. And then click on plus. <clears throat> Over there. Here is a key 0102. In reality, these materials will be coming from manufacturing at different, different point of time. Actually. So, uh, once when the picking rule is proper, it will be automatically allocating as per the company philosophy. The company will be having a philosophy of picking and then it will be getting allocated. Since it is a manual one, we are doing it to the Brazilian industry. In reality, they will now either come from a supplier or from manufacturing. It's Diana 2. Drop it down. We will now choose the Dine 2. So Dine 2 is the one we are choosing in there. So the locator is going to be 44 for the fourth transaction actually. If I go that mode. I will not click on the locator and then make a search now. Right? Click on search and then choose the 44 over here. I will not that. Again, lot is not coming. I will not put the 100 over here. I will give it up the lot. This time the lot is going to be 103 lot. No, right? The lot is 103. I will not populate the lot over here. Now. And then go there. So click on it. The quantity will vanish now. Right? And then put all that. So it is dine 2, 44 and then lot 103. Now. So dine 2 and then 44 and then 103. Okay, everything is correct. I hope that everything is correct. In one in the lot one zero three, we we have we are doing three transactions. Yeah, in lot one or three, we are doing two three transactions, and then in one or four, we are doing one transaction. Okay. So click on okay now. Fine. I'm not going to submit it, and then I'm going to make a verification of everything is okay or not. Click on correct. Let us now go to the item quantities, and then verify whether the simulation is perfect or not. In reality, they will all be coming in different times, different point of time from suppliers and manufacturing. There's no issues now. Fine. The transaction problem is no issues. I will not go to the item quantities and then have it. You click on the manager and this. So click on it. The key 0102 and then give it app. Give it app. It is coming. So the organization is also correct. So we have 400 quantities here now. Click on it. It is not coming. And expand it and then see whether everything is not in the appropriate place or not. Expand it. Expand it. So Dana 1. So click on Dana 1. <coughs> Expand it. So the Nana one is not getting expanded. So it is a locator not under that. So if you expand the locator, not fine. Click on the locator, expand it. So 22 is not going to go. So expand the locator, 22 will go. So 22, 22, 22 will be having an item actually. <clears throat> it now having not. There's a lot actually. A lot is not item is already queried. Fine. On 22, lot 103 is there. Fine. If you expand the 2 to 2, and then you're not having a lot of money. And then if you go to this place, not only one Diana 2, you go there. So on 33, we have 100, and then 44, we have 100. So the simulation is perfect. Fine. The simulation is perfect now. Fine. So now we are going to define our picking rule after the break, actually. Fine. Any doubts on this now? No. We don't need to give a, a locator. Is it mandatory? No, no, no. Only for our test actually. Yes. I am not okay. simulating it. I am not going to simulate it. For my simulation, I have given it. In reality, locator is not, lot is not required. Locator is also not required. Nothing is required. Actually. In some companies, they will not have a locator, lots, etc. Et In some companies, they will have everything. Fine. You, they will have serial numbers, the lot numbers, revision numbers, locators, everything they will be having. So, this is one such simulation for demonstrating the picking rule and MR. Mm -hmm. So, you can even create your own worksheet and then what happens, uh, test this uh, picking rule and MR. But after testing one, you will be satisfied. Are are it's not so sufficient. I mean, they will not be having move to again simulate one more now. Fine, one more different sets of parameters. Actually, fine. It will be very difficult. Fine. So no, no. One question. Uh, for picking rule, uh, enable lot is mandatory. Nothing is mandatory. So item need not have to have a lot at all. In my exercise, I am putting the lot and then the locator. Fine. In reality. So, Item may not have a locator. I no, for picking rule functionality, like we will come to that after a break. Now, fine. We'll not come okay. to that. We'll not come to that. Come to it after a break. Actually, so in the first part of simulation, I have to simulate what the four transactions. It is not done actually. Now I am not going to create a picking rule at six thirty. 
at 6:30 i'll be getting so i will now what happens i pass the record so i know okay come back and then we will now go here and click on it and then follow so we have already seen the stock now fine every is everything is okay here now fine everything is okay now we will now go to our sheet now fine worksheet we are going to go there so come on so now picking rule has got four constituents actually we can do the locator wise picking lot wise picking revision wise picking and then the sub inventory wise picking exactly same like what we have in ebus now nothing else is different so everything is same so here what i am going to do is i will now do what happens the locator and then i will now write huh? so there are four constituents of a picking so i am not going to use everything let me go and then create my picking rule so let's go there i will now right click and then duplicate so i am now going to get my picking rule click on it i will now go to the setup and maintenance <clears throat> so we click on it and then here click on search now click on search i will now say manage percentage fine pick percentage rule percentage so manage picking rule the one so let me get the picking so let me get the picking so click on plus and then let me get the picking so we are not creating a picking rule fine so go there i will now say is the k01 underscore pick underscore the rule one on the first one there so take copy it and then we'll just yes so here what happens we can even use the shelf life days also fine if an item is lying in the shelf for more than 45 days do not pick so by which what i'm going to say it will not pick if an item is lying beyond 45 days so this can also be done but we are not enable the shelf life at all in our item so this will not work so items which are enabled for shelf life this control will be on and then here i am now going to perform a sort sub sort sub sort so there are four priorities are there so i am going to perform four there so the first one is what i will now go that one i will now say uh, the lot i will now say i will now put in the lot so here we have a, what happens a lot as a first one now right? so lot so drop it on so lot normally goes with first expiry first one. whichever is going to expire first it will be allocated actually so but since we are not enable the shelf life this is not applicable so i will now use the last first in first out right? or otherwise lot ascending so ascending is on the number and then last first in first out first in first out means what let us say uh, this transaction has taken place first afterwards this transaction has taken place then the case what happens it will now allocate the 104 and then afterwards 103 so whichever lot has been transacted first that will be allocated first if it is going to be a what lot first in first out is it clear first in first out is what whichever lot has come into the inventory first will be allocating it but it is a very rarely used combination so you use either ffo or otherwise lot ascending or lot descending fine this is ffo ffo is not normally used on the lot actually so in this case what happens i will not put lot ascending over here the priority one is what lot ascending so now the incoming transaction numbers fine there are four transactions are there if i do it and then when i run the picking rule so based upon the lot ascending it is going to shuffle the numbers right so now tell me it will not shuffle 1 2 3 4 as what 1 2 3 4 will be shuffled actually the system is going to shuffle with a rate 1 2 4 3 1 2 4 3 1 2 4 3 1 2 4 3 exactly so is it now going to be shuffled as what 1 2 4 3 is it clear now when i have the first priority as what lot ascending it will be shuffled as what 1 2 4 3 so if a customer wants 280 materials fine from this one it will not pick up 100 from this one it will not pick up another 100 and then from the fourth transaction it will not pick up 80 actually got it yeah any doubts fine it will not pick up from the fourth transaction 80 <clears throat> fine this is a fourth transaction it will not pick up so when you have a lot ascending the incoming transactions will be shuffled like this actually then i go for the sub inventory ascending So sub inventory. Okay. So next one is what priority two is what sub inventory as I mean. Again on the sub inventory, what happens? We will be using the reserve date, right? Reserve date as I mean. So this is a normal one. Shall we do it? So but since I have given an order, right? If order is not given, and now remember all the four transactions in the simulation are done together actually. In one go we have done it. So the what happens? The reserve date is not coming into picture at all. In reality, it will be coming all from manufacturing as well as from suppliers actually. It will be coming in. so the usual practice is what they will now use what this one sub inventory is ascending so whichever has come first that will be what happens allocated first actually 
So since I am not doing it in this way, so I will not use what sub inventory as a name. Sub inventory as a name. Now the thing will be sub sorted actually. Right? The priority two is going to sub sort the first one. In the first one, what happens if you see one two three below one two four belongs to one set, the three belongs to another set. So within this, it is going to perform a shuffle actually. And then within this, it will not perform a shuffle. And then within this, it will not perform a shuffle. So if there are some multiple groups are there, each and every group will be shuffled within that. So let us say we have what happens a five also here, and then seven here, right? eight here, like that. What happens? Let us say these four belong to one group now, and then these three belongs to one group. So it will not shuffle. The priority two will be shuffling the first group, second group, third group. Likewise, it will not shuffle. So on sub inventory four and sub inventory ascending, will there be any change on one to four? Will there be any change on one to four? Okay. One to four will be any change because sub inventory is having an order now. Right? Sub inventory orders one, sub inventory orders one, two, two. Will there be any change on this now? Anybody? No change. No, 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 no change. change is hundred percent correct now. Hundred yeah, percent correct now. Right? Let us say. So none, of these, none of these grouping will be on what basis? It is a sort, sub sort, sub sort. Fine. It is a generic uh, mathematics actually. In the mathematics also, when you are performing a sub sort, so on the previous sort, it will be performed a sub sort. It is a simple mathematics. Fine. Sub sort is basically on a simple mathematics. So let us say I am not going to have this as what. Uh, fine, go that. I will not go to that what. Two, two, and this is one, one. Let us say fine. the sub inventory order. Now one, two, four will be sub sorted as what. One to four will be subsided as well. Four, one two. Four one two is hundred percent correct actually. Right? It is four then one two. Are you able to understand the subsort? And then afterwards three will come. So the sorting on the first priority lot ascending has now resulted on one two four three, and then on the sorting on the sub inventory ascending has resulted on four one two three. Any doubts on this now? Is a very important point. Fine. Because four is having the first number, fine. That will be coming at the top. Afterwards, what happens? These two things will come. Fine. One and two will be following four. Any doubts on this? Please ask me. It is a subsort on this group now. Fine. The first, every group will be subsorted actually. It will not subsort on this. And then this, if it has got already five, eight, and then seven, so this will be again subsorted. And then oh yeah. So it is a sort. Sub sort, sub sort, sub sort. It is a simple mathematics. Whatever you have learned in the mathematics, fine. It is all applicable here only. Here also. Clear, sir. It's a very complex one now. Remember, <laughs> it is not at all. No, no. Yeah. No, no. When you say lot will be sorted, it is ascending means it's alphabetical ascending. Yeah. Uh, uh, is a uh, is a alpha numeric ascending actually. Alpha numeric. It's not alpha. It's not alphabetical. No, fine. It is alpha numeric. Both of it, fine. So it may even take up the alpha numeric value also. I'm not very sure about it, but it's a alpha numeric as a name. Lot as a name is alpha numeric as a name. So one, two, four all belong to one, not three, and then afterwards one, not four is coming up as second. So on this group, it is now going to perform a sub sort since nine or two is now having a subordinate order of one. The four has come in the top, and then afterwards one or two. This how it is not so so nana in that case in that case lot wise if you see k double zero lot one not three one not three will be the first right see one so not one not three, three, three will be one not three has got three lots so this one this one and this one fine it is one two four or three lots and then within this only the shuffling is happening now all the three are having the same one not three only this this and this are all having one not three only clear on this now So it performs a sub sort. Okay, 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 okay. So in a sub sort, it is not one, two, three. Okay, okay. Four, one, two, three. Sir, if anybody has not understood it, please ask me. I mean, this has to be understood very clearly. Sir, between one and two, the sorting is uh, no. See, it will not take up one, two, four now. From which the four has got a priority, it will not put it. Afterwards, it will not go on and check and then check. Fine. Both of them do not have any change, and then so it is not populating exactly. Okay, okay, okay. It's not based on I the. I think uh, the first serial number should be changed. I think there is no serial number. Transaction number. Transaction number is one two three four. Okay. okay. Uh, just for understanding purpose, I am putting it. In reality, there is no transaction number at all like this. Only for okay. our understanding, okay. I put a transaction number of one two three four. Okay. So the sort, sub sort, sub sort is now clear, na? Fine. 
Sorry, Nana, I had stepped out for a bit, so I was just confused about. <laughs> no, no. In that case, what happened? I cannot repeat the entire exercise. No, no. I just uh, so I had jumped in. Very difficult the... task, and then you had to only follow. No, you had to only ask questions. No, if you are not uh, heard it, you watch the record and then do it. No, yeah. just one question, Nana. So this sorting is happening on a sub inventory order or this locator number? Oh God. So again, you you have to watch again the record. Man. The important part you have stepped out. Man. <laughs> it's okay. very difficult for me to understand. So again, watch the record. It will be very. Difficult. So this is on the sort sub sort. It is on the sort sub sort. So let me bring back my numbers now. Man. Let me bring back my numbers. Yes. The numbers are plotted. Yeah. I am not putting the second one. So here, what happens? I am now going to perform a sub inventory assigning, and then the locator is assigning. So the priority three is what locator assigning. Locator ascending. And remember, ascending and all will not be normally used. You will not use either reserve date. Fine, sub inventory means what? Reserve date ascending. Fine. Similarly, locator reserve date ascending. Fine. That is the normal philosophy of industry. But this is a very rare one. Fine. When I was working in eighties, at the time, what happens? Uh, we were having this locator, the sub inventory order actually, because certain sub inventories we cannot pick at all. Because of which, what happens? They are given the orders. So is there is maybe the same condition now also. That is why what happens that they kept this sub inventory order also, and sub inventory order also, right? sub inventory assignment. So it is a very good one. But for our demonstration, it is easy. I have not chosen this one. Right? There is nothing on the priority. Actually. There is nothing on the priority. So lot as a name, sub inventory as a name, and the locator as a name. Or the three priorities, one priority I have not given. <clears throat> so normally we will allow the partial picking. Right? Every transaction, what happens from the next transaction also, we can partially pick. So just run. We will not come to that bit later. Now, so click on active. Now, activate and then click on save and close. So the picking rule is ready with the three priorities ready. Sort and then again a sub sort and then again perform a sub sort and then again perform a sub sort like that. And if you have huge number of transactions, this will be a very big one now. Fine. So writing the picking rule, you have to discuss with the end client and then accordingly write it. Fine. This way, writing it. So whichever way they want it, because material what happens a depletion is a very important task as far as the end client is concerned. How you are going to deplete your inventory? Right? In which order you are going to deplete? So, in fact, what happens? Uh, we had a discussion with the SAP team actually when uh, SAP was implementing it. We had a discussion for more than a week's time actually, <clears throat> and then finally arrived at our way of depletion. Right? Depletion method. We have arrived it. Fine. How you are deplete? How you are going to deplete? How you are going to reduce the stock? Where you are going to pick? Fine. What is the way of picking? Fine. That will be discussed with everybody because the company's philosophy of picking and so this has to be done in a very proper and very meticulous manner. Another. And click on seven close by which order the picking rule is now done. So after having done the picking rule, so the next step is what we have to go there and then keep your cursor on this and then we are not going to assign it. So the picking rule is assigned is is going to be applicable for what what we are going to see. Right? Select it and then click on the manage assignments. Right? Click on the manage assignments. I am going to manage assignments. So click on plus and I am going to make it. Right? Click on plus. I am not going to do it. So I have to provide a criteria for order of assignment. Right? The organization is what K zero one one. The sequence number is one. Yeah. The picking rule is what K zero one one get app and what else? And then go there click on it. And then I will not do on item basis. Remember the assignments will not normally on item basis basically. Fine. It will be normally on a destination sub inventory basis. Fine. It will be on a destination sub inventory because in our case the destination is going to be what? The destination is going to be what? Stage now. <clears throat> Fine. So for this staging we will not have the assignments because there will be multiple items. So. If you have item wise, then what happens for every item you have to have one item. It will be very very tedious. So since it was a training, what happens? I am not putting item. So the criteria, if it is absent, then the picking rule will not be applicable for anything at all. Remember, the picking rule will not be applicable if the criteria is going to be absent. Right? There must be some criteria. So on this, what happens? It does that. So go there. So I will not activate it. Click on activate. It. So go there. So it is now activated. Thank you. That one. So click on save and close now. So go there. So it is now activated. So this picking rule is going to apply. So, so is there any doubts on this now? So we are not doing it for this now. The picking rule and then making it. So data type is always fine. Click on seven close by which what happens? My assignment to the picking rule is now complete. So now the sequence will be also uh, in, may, may play a yeah, major. One, two, three, four, like that. What happens? There will be multiple sequences. The first the first sequence is not applicable. It will not search for the second. And then if nothing is applicable, it will not allocate at all. No material will be allocated at all if none of the sequences is going to be applicable actually. So in every sequence, the criteria is the one which is very important. The criteria is the one. Nana sir, we can change this criteria. For example, if I yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At any point of, we can always say, I'm going to change and then show it to you. 
I'm going like to... no, if uh, like these parameters, like suppose if you have to assign it to the entire item or got something like all the yeah. items should be covered. Yeah, yeah. In the right item, what about you can even go on the edit key, then what about you can do it now. Right? You can do it. <clears throat> so you had to remove the activeness, and then change it to destination. Have you notified? Remove the activeness, then only you can do it. Edit now. Fine. Change it to destination. Remove the item, and then put the item. So any of the criteria whichever you feel like, you can put it and then do it. Now. If it is active, you cannot edit. The, param the parameters like what we are seeing on the screen, that only are the parameters, right? For the one second, I'll now come back to this no, fine. assignments. You know, you are not talking about the main picking rule. No, fine. So it is the assignment, okay? Fine, click on done and then come out of it. I've now come to the main picking rule. Fine, go back to my I'm going to change this also. Since this picking rule is already assigned, the activeness cannot be removed at all. Okay? Since the picking rule is already assigned, then we cannot do the change at all here. I will not show you about how to make a change. Right? So it is active. And then since the picking rule has got one assignment, and then once when it is assigned, then you cannot modify the picking rule at all. So click on save and close and then come out of it. Now the picking rule is ready. Now I am not going to make a movement request. I am going to create a movement request. Right click and then duplicate. Right? Let me go on and create a movement request. Good that you have understood the sort, sub sort. That is the biggest problem. Right? Many people cannot understand the sorts and sort and sub sort. Right? Good that you have understood. The sort of the plot. You have done okay. That the demonstration done. So you have done. So if you understood the sort of the plot, the entire complexity of movement request is now clear for you. Okay? This is the only one which is really very complex. Okay. So this is a very tough topic. You listen to it very clearly. So now what happens? I have my picking rule with the assignment of what? Lot ascending, subunitary ascending, and then locator ascending. So in this case, what happens? There is no change in this number. One, two, four. Now I'm now going to make a movement request for 60 commodities for this item actually. So as per this, what happens? It will be allocating from this place. It will be allocating from this place. So I will now go to the, so now go to the movement request. Now. Click on the home icon. I will now go to the inventory overview. Let me create a movement request now. And the picking rule and the assignments are complete. Let us now go and then create a picking rule manually. Remember, in the industry, the manual picking rule are not done at all. Everything is automatic. Only for our understanding, I'm doing it. Now. So either it is a replenishment picking rule, uh, a replenishment movement request, or otherwise a pick wave movement request or a material pick movement request, which will be created automatically by inventory, order management, and then manufacturing. Right. So go there. Now we are for demonstration, we are doing it. Right. I will not go there. I will not go to the what? Manage movement request. So movement request. So the purpose of movement request is to what? Move the material from FGS to stage. Right. Moving the material from the FGS to stage based upon your picking. A picking rule may be a complex, a, what I'm saying, will contain multiple LIFO and FIFO basically. Right. Multiple before, before, which, whatever is it. We have to now choose from which sub inventory, which uh, locator, which lot, which serial number, etc., etc., it has to be moved to the staging area. Right? So the system will now give you a permissive to move from one of the places to the staging area, actually. It is now going to give a permissive. So I'm not going to so go that on. So click on pass now. It is responsible for moving the material. Allocating the material is a real task of a moment Movement record. Movement record is now going to allocate the material right? based upon the company's policy of picking. Company's policy picking, it is not going to allocate it back. Go there. So click on plus, I'm not going to. So it automatically generates an upper fine. Go there. If you give a cancel, then I will like go there. Cancel. And then let me go and click on plus. Fine. When I click on plus, it will be getting it. The system gives a number. You can even overwrite the number. Fine. The numbers can be done. So let me overwrite the number. So I will now say K01 underscore MR underscore 1. So go there. Click on. So take out it. I don't care on the description. So there are two types of transactions of that. One is what? Moment request issue or that moment request transfers. The transfers will be used by Oracle projects actually. Projects will be used where what happens that the uh, movement will not be to a what happens a staging area, but it will be to an account actually. Say, for example, I am a builder. <clears throat> Fine. I have a centralized store. I am now building, uh, building the house actually. So I have to move my what's called uh, my cement from my centralized store to my project number 101. 101 is in Delhi actually. Right? Cannot place you are now building a house in cannot place. So the project number is 101 for which what happens? I am issuing cement actually from my main store. So it will be hitting a certain account actually. It is basically issuing an amount. So it is basically a transfer will be transferring it from your main store into your projects basically. Right? So if you go on and choose this one now, fine transfers, then the what happens? Your destination account will be coming now. Fine? So the moment request transfers, then what happens? You give you'll now give a source of inventory bank account account. So click on source of inventory. I will now say Dana one. <clears throat> so go there. So click on it. Sorry, I'm sorry. Not moment request, sir. Moment request issue, sir. 
So if you make a movement request issue, then the account will come into picture. It is the movement request issue is for what project issues basically. The movement request issues are for project issues in which whatever that when you move from your main store into the Karnat Place Delhi where the construction is going on, it will not hit a particular account actually, and then it will not move from FGS to staging actually. Only within our inventory, what happens? It will be moving from one of the FGS to staging area. Staging is also a sub inventory, right? So if it is going to be a transfer, it will be moving from this place to this place. If it is going to be an issue, what happens? It will be issued out of your company basically from the FGS from based upon the picking rule. It will be going away from your company into and then hitting the project account actually. So against the project, how much of sand is issued? How much of uh, cement is issued? How much of uh, bricks is issued? Everything can be accounted actually. So issue is basically for project actually. Got it now, fine. And then it will not hit any sub inventory at all. Issue will not hit any. There is no destination sub inventory at all for issue. It is an account issue. Actually. So it it means after this transaction, there won't be any on and quantity for this. Yeah, on and quantity will come down. So today we have got four hundred quantity. Same quantity. like sales order issues. Yeah, uh, almost like what happens? Yeah, who is this? Now fine, excellent. So it is like same a same like, like a. Yeah. Yeah, same, same like sales order issue. Yeah, it is like a same same like a sales order issue. In a sales order issue, issue, when you issue it out, whatever it goes to the customer and not to any place, you know. Right? So similarly, the this issue is basically moving out of your inventory into your account. Actually, it is an account issue. Fine, it is an account issue. Fine, destination account issue. Fine, but of course, the picking rule is going to work exactly for both. Fine, both for issue and transfers, it will be going to exactly same. So the purpose of picking rule is to allocate the source and not the destination. Number. We are not allocating the destination, but we are allocating the source actually. The source is now getting allocated. The source is getting allocated. So go there. So this you will be learning in projects actually. I'm going to go for a long before I transfer. So moment I was transfer. I'm going to. So I'm going to give the source now. Fine. I will not give the source at all. So source is the power of allocation. Actually. Item may be available in multiple places. So when you are creating a picking rule or when you are creating a moment request, you will now make the source as absent. In which case, what happens? That based upon your this combination, what happens? That It will be basically allocating it. Right? The lot is running, sub inventory is running, running. So it will now allocate the sub inventory is also automatically. Right? That is the power of allocation. So normally everybody will now use the power of allocation. And so when they are creating it manually, right? when they are creating it manually, they will now make the source is blank. Even in automatic also source is blank. But destination is mandatory. So we are having. So let us now create one destination sub inventory. So click on done now. So let us now create one destination sub inventory. So click on done now. We will now go to the task area. And then I will now create one staging sub inventory for this. Thank you. I will now create one destination sub inventory. I am going slow, basically because it's a very tough topic. You have to understand it very properly now. Thank you. So click on search now. Click on search. So it's the manage percentage, sub percentage, fine. Locator percentage. So manage sub inventory locator. So I click on it and go that one. And then go that one. So go that. Let me create a staging sub inventory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In our companies, in Ispat Industries Bombay, the staging is also locator control. Right? That we have a different activity altogether. Right? So we have in the destination also we have locators actually. Right? So that is called locator control staging. I will be coming to that later. So I will now say K zero one one. I will now say it's a stage supplementary. Right? It's a stage supplementary. So let me have the stage supplementary in place. The stage supplementary. So take copy. And I want the description. So go there. So locator control is what there is no locator control because there is a very simple control under that. So it's called <coughs> K zero one and under that. So lock one and then you can open the one. So nothing is there. So it's active and no locator control. So in our company we have a locator control staging and then it is a very tough one. Now, right? Locator control staging will be coming as the next step. So you know, so go there. So you now go to this place. Fine, go to the manager moment. Because so here I will now drop down and then choose the staging. So it is we have to say where exactly you have to drop. It. But source allow the picking rule to allocate it. So we are now going and transfer now. Thank you, Mr. Pastor. I will now put the item over here. So it's a K zero one zero two, and then give it up. And then it's coming. So you can now expand it. Expand it. So the request for quantity, I will now as per the plan, I will now request it. So I am going to request for sixty quantity. Sixty quantity, then what? So source is blank. There is the power of allocation actually. So click on submit by which whatever the moment request will be submitted. And then in e-business, we can even submit for approval to somebody. When you want to move it from one place to other, we can submit for approval. Approval process is zip to come in fusion actually. 
it is yet to come so approval is yet to come so now it will now go into a pre approved state so once when i submit it it will be going to a pre approved state approval is yet to come whereas in ebis i used to demonstrate even the approvals also <clears throat> we can even get it approved by somebody when you want to move it from one of these places now right? when you want to move it from one of the fgs to staging somebody has to approve it normally what happens is the item planners will be approving in our company we have the item planners it will not go to the item planners and then he will be aware that so much of a quantity is going to move out from fgs to staging and then he will now prepare his next discrete job order actually and remember in our company we were all doing it manually actually because we are not having computer systems at the time right? computers have just come and then we are not doing it so uh, we will they will now issue a note to him and then he will now approve it like that what happens will be happening so it's again a combination of what happens a semi computers we can say right like that like, like, we have an ibm system for allocation actually but everything is not totally automated actually because we don't have a erp system in place actually we are not in so because of which what happens we had this problem <clears throat> so it's a something is a computers computer is something is manual actually so normally for approvals the approval will go to the item planner so that he will be aware that this much of fgs that particular item will be going to move away from this place to this place so he has to plan for the work order actually so normally to the planners will be going so that approval process is yet to come in fusion fine click on submit now which by k01 mr1 will be pre approved now fine click on submit it will be pre approved moment request a submitted fine click on okay now fine you know go there and then make a search now fine i will now search for the item k0102 and then give it app when you give it app the item has to flip operate fine click on search now fine it will be a pre approved can also see the pre approved fine so once the approval comes in then you have to refer the oracle documentation about how to approve it now what i am going to do is i am going to allocate it actually we are going to perform allocation right click and then duplicate we are going to allocate so we will now go to the what's called we will now allocate the material we will go to the tools now fine click on the tools any doubts you ask me then and there fine otherwise it will be very difficult it's a very tough topic you have to understand it very well i will go to the schedule the process no no sir while differentiating this movement request from the inventory transfer you said that like, for movement request the basically inventory transfer is what what do you mean by inventory transfers uh like uh, uh, if i'm transferring like or picking from my own inventory and directly shipping without creating a movement request no 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 it has to be there when you are doing a sales order picking the pick way will now do all these things automatically actually for you okay so because we are not having a sales order picking we are doing yeah we are now way. demonstrating it as a manual okay, and then okay. it is going to work exactly like that right sales order we cannot see here we are now seeing everything step by step how it's working actually okay. when you make a pick way move order Fine. Or a moment request. When you make a big, big, big moment request, right? move orders in EBS and then moment request is in fusion. So once when uh, the system makes a big, big moment request, all these things, whatever I am showing you, is all automatically done. So, mm -hmm. sir, 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 it is something like uh, submit and transfer, like right? yeah, but, uh, it is like a submit and transfer only, but with allocation actually. But but you are moving it into submitters with the allocation. Fine. Right? Yes, the picking yes, rule yes. is going to allocate which one you have to pick now. Correct, correct, correct. In a supplement transfers, e you are manually doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in EBS, we need approval for this. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Move, 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 more, move orders can can be configured for an approval. Also, approval is not mandatory in EBS. Fine. If you want, you can do it. Otherwise, we can even bypass the approvals. So here, yeah, that is not there at all. Fine. Approval is yet to come. Yeah, no, no, sir. Uh, in EBS, uh, while doing pick release, move orders will get created automatically, and exactly. that move orders needs to be transacted. Exactly. Correct. In in the infusion as well in the is the same. Yeah, way. here also the pick release once when you know launch the pick release, it will also be done exactly the same fashion as in EBS. When you launch the pick release from Fusion, in Fusion also what I was whatever I am saying, everything will be done automatically just like in EBS only. Okay, okay, but but here here only thing is that we need not to transact, we need not to approve the uh, movement. Yeah, approval is yet to come now. An enhancement is the request is already on. An enhancement request is already on. It is now they are they are working on it. and then maybe in 22d or even the 22c also they may even bring in i'm not sure about it when is going to come on. Okay. okay approvals may come in at any time the enhancement request is already on <clears throat> this place got it up fine okay any other routes good so here if you go there now what i'm going to do is i'm now going to allocate right? so the pick release has got two parts now fine click on it there is a, there are two parts on the picking now fine right? you go there i will now go to the fusion order management fine on the oracle sim training let me go to the fusion order management i go to the fusion order management and then i will now go to the fusion order management documentation and i am go to the fusion order management documentation and do that so i will now go to the shipping area and click on the shipping area double click on it in the this is one fusion uh, cm training fusion order management fusion order management documentation shipping and do that so here i will now go to the shipping and click on 
So the release process, the pick release process is what? It is now going to create a pick wave moment request now in, in a sales order. And then afterwards, you're going to perform a confirm. So these two things are implicit upon releasing it. When you launch the PR, it will now launch the PR. Is a pick release plus pick confirmation are totally automatic. Now we are doing this through the process manually. Now I'm not going to make a pick release. Right? So I'm going to release the pick. So this is called create pick wave moment request. Right? Moment request is now, is now creating it internally. And then it will also release it. Right? It's called pick release and pick confirmation. This activity is what? The total thing is called pick release and pick confirmation. Now I'm not going to perform a pick release manually. Clear on this now, fine. I'm not going to perform a pick release manually actually. A very complex fine. Well, you try to understand it. You have to understand it. No other go. <laughs> so I'm not going to release it manually. So once when I release it, the allocation will take place. It is not going to allocate it. Now, fine. So click on shit in the model. So I'm going to release it. <clears throat> so we can release it by one SS, ESS job. It is called Enterprise Scheduler Services Job. I'm going to want it. So I will not go to the word. <coughs> print. Fine. Move. So print move is a one which is going to release the moment request and then it will now allocate it. Thank you. Print move is a one which is going to release the moment request and then it will now allocate the bidding line. It is responsible for it. So in this place, total thing is automatic. So here, I'm not showing it to you manually. I'm not showing it to you manually. So print moment request pick sleep report is a one. So during this process, fine. When the system, the sales order is now going to create a pick wave moment request, it will now what happens? Is release the pick wave also. It will now release it also. So here I am now doing the release manually. We are going to release it manually. So print moment request pick, pick slip report is there. What's called the schedule ESS job. So here I am now going to pick it manually. So since it takes a longer time, what happens? Is one of the parameter I am going to make it is absent so that what happens? I can again and again run that action. Because it takes a longer time for the concurrent to come over here now. So it's not coming properly so quickly. I don't know what is the reason for this. Fine. This concurrent is not taking a pretty long time to what happens to populate on the screen, actually. <clears throat> Everybody, please practice the moment request and pick slips now. The picking, the picking rule now. Picking rule and moment request, please practice it. It's a must, actually. Because the system does everything automatically, but you must know about how it's doing it. In some companies, what happens? Uh, we have to configure all these things now. Fine. So print moment request pick slip report and click on all. Since I am going to repeat this with the re repeat this a bit. So organization, what happens? I will not put it fine. K011. From moment request, I'm not going to populate anything at all. I'm not going to, because I'm not going to do it now. So I will not leave it blank. So the next time also I can run it. It will not run for all moment request actually. So because I'm not going to uh, resubmit it because when I give a tab, it is not taking a long time. So I'm not making it as blank. So normally we can even run it for selected ones now. So go there. So while I'm running the print moment request, I am now going to release it actually. Releasing is nothing but allocation now. Fine. I'm now going to allocate it based upon my picking now. Fine. The lot ascending, sub-inventory ascending, and then locator ascending, I'm going to allocate it. So this process is called a release. Releasing the moment request now. Fine. I'm going to release it. So while I'm printing it, what happens? I'm now going to release it. While I'm printing the moment request pick slip report, I'm going to release it. I'm going to go down. So release approved lines is yes now. And remember, this is not required in automatic. So in a sales order one, when the sales order is now, when you're launching the pick release, it will now release it automatically. It will now confirm also automatically. In a manual process only, we are doing it manually. When the sales order, we are now going to do the pick release. Fine. The pick release and pick confirm will now take place automatically in the sales order. Since we are demonstrating it, I'm now doing it manually. So this particular ESS job, I am now allowing to release it also. Release it and then print it actually. It is not going to print it after releasing it. So click on any doubts now. So I am now keeping it as what? Blank actually. So that what I'm going to be running for all the ones. So I can now resubmit this concurrent again and again. There's the one you want. So release upload lines. And click on submit, by which what happens? It is now going to release it and then print it also. It will be printing it actually. So it will be printing it. If you refresh it, what happens? You can now see that it will be released as well as printed actually. Print moment request pick slip report is going to release as well as print out. It's a very tough one, understanding. <laughs> but if you understood it afterwards, what happens? You can very coolly set, but especially for the FMCG industries, fast moving consumer goods, what happens? The picking rule plays a very big vital role, actually. In some of the industries, what happens? A board major or tomorrow picking rule, fine. I don't want it at all, fine. Likewise, what happens? They will not even be setting it properly. In some companies, it will be very, very difficult, actually. So you must know about how it's working, actually. 
So the print moment I cosmic sleep report, it is released and then printed. So, I, so whenever you're having a report, we can republish it. And then click on the republish on the button. I click on the republish and the republish. Are you all there? And you say yes to me, fine. There's no voice at all. <laughs> Are you understanding it, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Yeah. Good, good. Actually, by yes, using yes. this, uh, we are transferring it from uh, uh, finish goods <laughs> to staging area. Yeah, finish goods release process. Area. We are not transferring it. We are only allocating it. Fine. With the release, sir, we are the next process is the allotting, right? Next process, process is the transfer. Process, right? Next process is the moment of material from the Click on the wheel icon. Click on the export and then export to PDF. Click on the wheel icon, export and then export to PDF. We are exporting it here. So in the, the bottom, it is coming up. Click on it. So let me go there and then click on the show all in the bottom. Now, and open it up. So you can now see this picture. So the moment request pixel report is now allocated and then printed actually. Go down. So you can now see that it has now allocated. So it has allocated Dyna one, and then it has allocated two to two, and then the item now. So this slip is basically customized with the technical. It is getting printed also because the inventory boy is going to pick up from this place. Fine. Once when you ask the inventory boy to do it now, fine. So once when you are asking him, so he will be picking it up from the FGS three to stage. He has to understand it very clearly. So the pick slips are normally printed as per the end client's requirement. What has to come on the left hand side? What has to come on the right hand side? Which which we have to pick now. It is an open pick actually. It is just allocated, but it is not evolving one. So from the stage, from Dyna one of two to two, you have to move it to stage actually. Fine. This is a sixty commodities of that. Lot commodity sixty. The quantum one is about sixty. Clear on this now. Fine. The allocation and then the printing. So this is a lot which has used now. Fine. So as per our plan, it has worked perfectly now. It has worked perfectly as per our plan. So it has worked perfectly as per plan. So when I do it, lot of sending, submit of sending, and locator of sending, it has picked up lot 103, 222, and then 60 commodities. Any doubts on this now? Good. What now, happens sir, if, if something so by mistake we have done, uh, created a pick really, picking rule, which is wrong? Yeah. And allocation has wrong. Uh, then something. inventory in charge can very well overwrite the system's allocation. The system has allocated lot 103, Dana 1, and then 222. But practically, what happens is tsunami has hit the Dana one. There is he cannot enter in prop. So the inventory in charge can override to Dana two also, and then he can choose his own locator. The system's recommendations are this now. The system's recommendations can be overridden by the inventory in charge at the time of peak confirmation. During peak confirmation, you can very well override depending upon the physical conditions actually. But it is strongly recommended not to bypass the system's recommendation because it is as per your picking. The picking is configured and then it has been what happens? It discussed and designed. So if you are bypassing it, what happens? It is not correct. But practical situations may ask you to bypass the system's recommendation. You may have to bypass depending upon the actual condition. We have done it many times. System has recommended something during confirmation. What happens? We cannot do this. Right. So inventory in charge will lower it. Inventory in charge. Since it is a manual manual allocation, we are doing a, a release movement, right? <laughs> if it is a so that we we can't. Uh... I will come to the domain. So if it is a yes, so what happens is that the system does this release and then confirm automatically. But some companies want only a manual confirmation. So there is a, a provision for bypassing the confirmation to manual. By default, what happens is the pick release and pick confirmation are automatic. But if the end client says only inventory in charge has to confirm, fine, every sales order will be allocated and then sent to the warehouse. The warehouse in charge has to confirm it. Fine, that is also possible in the sales order. But by default, the allocation that is called release, the pick release and pick confirmation are normally automatic. But we can even make it manual also. This process we can make it manual in sales order also. Here I am now doing it purposely manually just to show you. Got it now? Okay? So both the things are possible in sales orders. Here manual is everything is manual. And yeah, normally the pick no, no. goes with that uh, scanner gun and then. Yeah, yeah. He will be using the scanners on it. Right? Okay. He will be using the scanners for picking the material properly. Picking the material. So that's why they okay. confirm manually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some no, no. The whole this, somebody is saying that whenever they use the scanners, they do not allow you to what happens, confirm it automatically. Mm -hmm. If scanners are used in the warehouses, they will now only do a manual confirmation because they have to scan the material. And then uh, what happens in the system, it will get automatically what happens, updated on this point, whatever has been scanned actually. So system may give a recommendation, but that material may not be available. When the lot 103 is now residing very deep into the inventory. So whatever is available on the front, they will now scan it, and then the scan one will be having this information and automatically. So that is the good. 
So somebody is saying that if scanners are there, confirmation is always manual. That is what he's saying. Am I correct? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Got it? Okay. No, no, in case of override, uh, the scenario that you mentioned, yeah. uh, in that case, uh, they will change the movement uh, request. No, no. Uh, uh, movement request has already completed the job. The purpose of moment request is to allocate. It is already allocated. Right? Moment request is allocated. The job is over. Now, you have to confirm whether you had to accept the system recommendation or override the recommendation. Okay, so when you can, the when purpose you of moment right? request is to allocate. It is already allocated. Okay. Right? Now, moment request is now completed its job. Now, you have to decide during confirmation whether you want to override or not. Got it? So at the time of overriding, they will change the allocated locator. Uh, yeah, yeah. All the three they can change. Right? Locator also, lot can also change. Fine. If it's going to be a revision, revision also they can change. Everything they can change. They can override all the recommendations of a moment request structure. Depending upon the practical condition. And the other guy was saying, if it's a scanner, it is always done manually. Even the ship confirmation, the, the pick confirmation on a sales order is also manual. Then what do you say? Clear, I am now going very slow, mainly because this is a very tough topic, and then you have to understand it. We are now going to deep into inventory now. Got any doubts you have? Good, fine. Now I am now going to perform a confirmation. Pick confirmation, I am going to perform. Fine. The moment request has released it. Now I am going to perform a pick confirmation. So this is not done. Now, fine. So it's all clear. Fine. It's not allocated based upon the picking rule. Fine. So let me close this screen. So let me close it. Now. So let me close the screen and download also I'm closing it. Yes, I'm closing it. Yes, I'm closing it. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to allow it. I'm not going to confirm it. So go down. So I will now go to the what happens. I will now go to this inventory overview. I'll touch upon the inventory overview. In the inventory overview, one is ready for confirmation actually. If you go there, it says nothing is available for confirmation at all. Because the role is not there at all. So once when you give a rule, then only what happens, the, uh, the picks which are ready for confirmation will become there. So it says nothing is available for confirmation because we don't have a rule as well as a data access. But it's not there. So we'll now go on them. See why this also. Drop it down. I will now go to the picks now. Thank you on the picks. In the picks, what happens? I will now go to the confirm picks. And confirm picks. So on the main info let itself, it is not coming. So I will now go there. So on what basis you can go? Moment request is there. Okay? I will now say K01 and go there. Moment request, I'm going to put it there. So this is the one. So click on search now, fine. Nothing will be visible because I don't have a role and data access. So role and data access is must for peak confirmation, actually. That is called shipping manager role and data access. If the shipping manager role and data access is available, it will not be available for you to pick at all. You don't have a role. So for doing it, what happens? You have to avoid it. So once when you have a role and data access, on the main info let itself, it will now say one is ready for confirmation for your org. So let us now go there and then add the rule. So let's click on the home icon. Let us now add the rule. I will now go to the tools and then I go to the security console. I will now go to add a rule. So go, there. so go to the users and then I will now query the users. So it's a K0 now. And then enter. Sir, so till now are, we have just created the moment request picks. We have just right? created it and allocated it or released it. We are now created and then released it. Fine. We have created now it. We ran the print move. ESS job through which during which what happens if we are asked is to what release it also. So it is now released and then it is allocated. But we are unable to it is not moved as yet, right? It's not yet moved because we are unable to confirm it. Confirming is moving okay, in. Confirming Perfect, thank you. So, go so to perform what happens a big confirmation, you must have the warehouse manager role as well as the shipping manager role also. And these two roles are required for performing a peak confirmation actually. So go there, click on edit now. Fine. We'll now add this role. Click on edit. We are going to add it. So click on add role. So let us now add the shipping manager role. Shipping manager role. Normally, agent avoid it. Fine, go for the manager role. Fine. Shipping manager role. Fine, that is the best role. Don't go for the agent. So shipping manager of Vora. Vora. Agent is having a lesser power, so always give the maximum power. So shipping manager Vora. And then click on add. So the warehouse manager and then shipping manager role are basically responsible for click on done. Because the only copy is there. The other one is gone. Thank you. So click on save and close. It's not done. So we have to give a data access. So there are four roles on data access which are there in inventory now. Right? One is the inventory manager, one is the receiving agent, one is the warehouse manager, one is the shipping manager. And remember, all the four roles are normally added along with the data access also. So this is the security. <clears throat> so click on it. We will now go and then give the data access also. Okay. 
and set, set up a metrons. So go to this place. I will now come to the FSM area of that one and then click on it. So now go to this place. One click on search now. <clears throat> and then go there. Manage data access. So manage data access is the one. Okay. So go to the manage data access for users. I'm going very slow because this is a very complex topic. And so you have to understand it because I'm going very slow. At a snail space, at a donkey space, I'm going. So click on search now. Fine. Search. You can now see these two are there. Fine. Let me add the warehouse manager <coughs> as well as <coughs> your shipping manager. <coughs> so click on password. Both the things are required. Data access is required for both. So go there. Is a warehouse manager. So go there. To perform big confirmation, warehouse manager as well as your shipping manager roles are must now. So click on plus one. So three zero one. You can even duplicate it actually. The shipping manager. Shipping manager from the inventory on the three zero one. So we are given in reality all the four roles with the data access is a must actually for every uh, person who is working in the warehouse. So whomsoever employee is going to work on the warehouse, please give all the four. Or if your inventory manager is not given, you cannot give the stock also. Fine. Depending upon the need, you can do it now. Fine. And uh, Surya is an expert on customization. So many things he has customized and then it, if, you have, if you have a requirement of customization, talk to Surya, he will help you. Uh, he is also doing in a trial and error only. Fine. He's not doing it in a very proper manner. He says that only in a trial and error is doing it. Now. He may even help you out if you're getting stuck on. So you can do Now, if I log out and log in, it will now come. So you make a search now. Fine. So all the four are going to come to the number. So there are four roles that it acts as receiving agent, warehouse manager, shipping manager, and then inventory manager. So let us now log out and log in. So now go there. Click on log out and so I will now sign out and sign out. So you have to run that LDAP thing. LDAP is also required now. Fine. The input user role is also required. We will now see if it doesn't come, then I will again run it now. Fine. Normally, what happens is the inbuilt mechanism to sync it. So that is the four syncing. I know that. So I, I will not avoid this. And then if it's not coming, then I have to do the syncing also. Whenever you set up anything, you run the import user role that will now sync your setups to the transaction systems, basically. But Oracle says that it is automatic, actually. Fine. Sometimes it takes a longer time. If it won't automatic, it will not be possible. If you go there, click on it. Now, we have to have the picks ready on this now. Fine. Go to the inventory overview. If you go and then see on the overview, you will now find the picks coming up over there now because we are given the role and data access. Now. Come, 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 come. Vandichi, we got it. Previously, no data was available. Now, one is an open pick. Previously, it was not coming. So, if you click on the pick, what happens? We can now very well confirm the pick. Now, thank you for it. I'm not going to confirm it. Thank you for it. So, click on the pick number. Fine. I'm going to perform it. Fine. From the info related itself, we can go on and directly make an action of confirming it. Actually. <sighs> so, click on the pick. What happens? It is going over there. It goes to the next step. Now, it now goes to so this is the pick number number. So click on the hyperlink on the pick number. We are going to perform a pick confirmation, actually. We are now going to perform a pick confirmation. Select it. If there are multiple lines, it will not select all the lines together. Now it says what? The system has allocated what? Dyna 1, 2 to 2, and then this is a lot. If any of them is not possible, it's not feasible for the inventory manager, he will now make a change of this. Like these three parameters. If it's a serial number also, he will not make a change. Now he will not decide out of 60 how much you want to confirm. He will not confirm all the 60. Because manpower is not there. Sometimes, for happens, moving it from this area to this area, you may not have a manpower. Fine. The FGS, what happens? You don't have a trolley or you don't have a forklift, you don't have a crane. So move now only 30. Later on, after one hour, you will now move the balance 30. So, likewise, what happens? You know, design. So now he found that there is no shortage of any resources in the inventory. So he is now designed to move all the 60 into the staging area. Staging area. Sir, if I if I if I enter thirty means the uh, yeah, a new line will be created. Uh, no, it will be partially picked. Actually. It will be partially picked, and then you will again pick. come there, and then again do the pick. Okay. No, no new line. It will be going away. So once when I perform a confirmation, the line will vanish. Actually, the line will vanish. Sixty is there. Fine. Drop down and then click on confirm and close. By which what happens? The line vanishes now. The line will vanish. Away. And the main area, it will not say what happens. Okay, now then fine, click on the fine. We'll now go to the main infolet area. Now how, the, how the infolet will look. So one is open, previously it is open. Now one is confirmed actually. Confirm onto the destination actually. Now let us go and then look at the stock. Now. Right click on the duplicate and duplicate. We are going to have a look at the stock. Now. We'll now have a look at the stock. 
So go to this place. I will now click on the star icon. I go to the inventory overview, and then we'll now look at the stock. So 60 has moved it from what? Your Dyna 1 to what happens stage now? Dyna 1, 2 to 2 to stage. So go to my manager item point. You know how to look at the stock. So go there. If the K01, and then what happens is K0102. The item now comes down. K0102. And click on search now. Fine. We are searching for it. So go there. It's not coming. Fine. Expand it. So click on it. Expand it. So go there. You can now see the stage has got 60 commodities. The Dyna 1 of 2 to 2 might have got reduced. The 2 to 2 has now got reduced. So the total activity of what? Pick release and pick confirmation is now complete. Pick release and pick confirmation is now complete. So this is what is being done in the sales order. You go to the sales order. What happens? The pick release and pick confirmation. This is normally automatic. And then if you have a scanners or some other issue, they will now make the confirmation manually. And then you have to confirm like this only manually. But release will be done. Right? The pick release will be done automatically. And then confirmation will be manual also if you want. Otherwise, by normal means, what happens? The pick release, the PR and PC process are together actually. The PR and PC are together in a sales order. Now, we'll now come to the next complexity of <clears throat> Now, we have now decided what happens. The locator is not ascending, actually. I will now change it to descending. Lot is ascending. Sub-inventory is ascending. But locator is going to be descending. Now, tell me what is the order here. One, two, three, four. The order gets changed. What will be the order? One, two, three, four. How it will be shuffled, actually? Lot is ascending. One, 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 three. One, two, four. The first four, level of what happens is four, two, one, two, one. one. Thank you. So, on the second one, there is no change. On this one, there is no shuffling at all. Now here, there will be a shuffling. It is locator is descending. Locator is descending means what? Four, two, one, one. One second, one second. Four, two, one, one. Should be two, one, four. Four, two, one, three. Should be four, two, one, four. Two, one, four, three. Two, one, four, three is correct. It will be 2143 for locator descending actually. Anybody is having a doubt on this one? If you have the locators descending here, it will be 2143. 124 will be shuffled as what? 214 now. Because it's locators descending. Descending means what? It will allocate this one first. So the second transaction will be allocated first. And then afterwards, the first transaction will be allocated. Then the fourth, there is no change at all. Hmm. So 124 gets shuffled as what? 2143. Is it clear? You know, people will say, we don't know what to ask. Sir. <laughs> sir, I got plenty of doubts, but I don't know what to ask. Where to ask. <laughs> so you will get a lot of doubts. Right? Only when you start to work, 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 it will not go into your heart, actually. So I'm not going to make a change of the located reasoning. So now what happens? Instead of 2 to 2, it will be allocating 22, 22, 22, 60 corners, it will allocate. You know, ascending, <laughs> ascending, and descending. Yeah, I'm going to make a change of the picking room. I'm going to make a locator's descending. It will allocate 20 to one. I'm going to go and see. I'm going to go to this place. I'm going to go there. I'm going to change it. I'm going to come back here. I will not go to the manage picking division. I will not go to the task. No, thank you. I will not go to the task. And then I will go. So one is confirmed. Actually, thank you. On the setup and maintenance. And then I come to the task. And then I'm going to make a change of the task. So click on it. I'll go there. Click on search. No, fine. I'm going very slow. Mainly because it is a very tough part. To manage percentage. Pick percentage, fine. Rule percentage. Naturally, this is not my speed at all. So put the man picking rules. I then go there. So this I am going to make a change now. Fine, click on it. I'm going to edit. So here, what I'm going to do is what? I will now make this as what? Locator as descending now. Fine, locator as descending. But this picking rule has got assignments. So once when a picking rule has got assignments, I will not be able, we will not be able to inactivate it. Only when you inactivate it, we can make a change out of the locator as descending and making. So, first of all, remove all the assignments and then only we can make a change on the picking rule. Since it is having an assignment, it's not the problem. Okay, I can answer my point. Now, what I'm going to do is I will now choose this and then I will now go to the manage assignments and click on the manage assignments. So, here, first of all, I will now inactivate it. Click on edit and then let me inactivate it. So, go there. That means what? No assignments are there for the picking rule. Thank you, Conceive and Close. No assignments are there. At this stage, we can modify the picking rule. I click on the now we are going to modify the picking rule and select it and then click on it now. Now, what I was the active is now editable actually. So if there is no assignment, then only it will now become editable. Fine, edit it, and then I'm going to make a change. Okay. Located descending, I'm going to make it. So the priority is not changed. In reality, you won't change like this now. Fine. Once when it is set, that's it. 
fine for the end rest of the what happens uh, thank what happens everything sir you won't do the change like this if at all the customer ask for it then only you do it. otherwise what happens this is initially discussed and then with the middle management experts you desire it so afterwards you will not change this so go there i will not have a change what happens i will not make that so without making it as active fine if it is not active fine, i will not make it as active thank you sir please then i cannot assign dogs go to the manager assign much and then here what happens you go there so click on any top fine go there if the picking rule is not active then what happens you cannot do it also oh god see you cannot make the rule as in because rule itself is not active so the rule has to be active then only what happens you can make it nothing you can cancel so only when the rule active what happens the assignments can be made active click on the top go there so let me go there and then click on edit i will now make the rule first of all active please mute your mics now you are not speaking what is it please mute your mic so rule is active then assignments can be made active the change has been made now and click on save and close the change is made and now on save and close you know all so click on the manage assignments of this now click on the manage assignments and then here what i'm going to do is i will not edit i click on edit so click on edit and then here what i'm going to do i'm not making any change on the criteria remember if you don't have any criteria nothing will be allocated remember fine you must have at least one criteria on your picking rule now on the assignment section so click on it. either item normally it will be destinations of the or it may even on the order type also fine transaction source type also will be there fine uh, there are so many ways people used to do now. fine my students say that they have done so many different criteria for allocation they are experts actually when one of the projects i gone there and see fine i couldn't understand bobri so that guy has become big expert actually on this so once when you learn the basics you can now what happens to do wonders on this it is all done now so you are ascending ascending descending is ready for allocation actually Click on some time. Ascending, ascending, descending. <clears throat> Let us make it next moment request for sixty crore. We'll not go there. Click on it. We'll not go there. We'll not make a moment request for sixty crore. We'll not go to this place. Click on that now. We'll not create a moment request now. We'll not create a moment request. So click on the star icon, and then I go to the inventory, and then I am going to go to the moment request now. Fine. Is it all clear? Can somebody say yes to me till now? <laughs> Is it clear? Anybody can say yes to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Click on it. We'll go there. We will now go to the manage moment request. So we are going to make a moment request transfer now. Fine, click on it. Fine, click on plus now. Fine, I am going to make the second one. So it's what I will now make a second one. It's a K zero one underscore M R underscore two. Yes, I will now put it on space. Now, fine, take a bit. Not like this. One. I will go there. Transaction type is what moment request transfer now. Fine. So source is absent. Then I will now put the destination as what the staging now. Fine, click on it. I will now choose stage. Stage one. Click on plus one. <clears throat> Go to the place. Fine. The key zero one zero two, and then give a tap. So we are doing it. Now, what is it? now again for sixty quantities? I'm going to do. It. So go for sixty quantities. This time, what happens? Twenty two, twenty two, twenty two will be allocated. Fine. Click on submit now. Fine. By which what happens? You now see that it will be pre-approved now. So go there. Put it on this place. Fine. Key zero one zero two, and then give a tap. The item will be coming fully. Then click on search now. Fine. It will be having two. One is closed. Fine. The activity is complete. Allocation as well as your transactions completed. No post level. No, this one is coming down. Right? So I will now go to this area. Fine, click on that. Fine. I will now go to what my ESS job area. Fine. Click on the home icon. I go to the tools and then I go to the schedule to process. Me. So go to the tools. Fine. Okay. If you go to the tools, fine. Right. So let me go to the tools and then I go to the schedule to process. So here I am going to simply run it. Now. I am going to run it. Now, fine. So you have it. Now, fine. Oh, God. So many people. I will now go there. Click on it. So I am now working on SCM zero seven. Now, fine. So you see a zero seven dot student, and then make a search now. Fine, whatever I have done, it will be coming. Uh, what is the number here? I'm not in S C M zero seven. In now, anybody numbering? What is the number? It I is K K oh. something. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. K zero one underscore E M P one. So I know logged in as K zero one E M P one. Make a search now. Fine. So it will not show only my request actually. So click on search now. Fine. Submitted by K zero one E M P one. Fine. Click on search. It's not coming. Fine. So print moment request. Fine, go there. So when I submit it, what happens is not coming. I will now resubmit it again. Click on resubmit it because it's not taking a longer time. So I'm going to resubmit it. So the moment request number is blank. So it will now run for everything, even for the close also it will run. And click on it. It will be running for everything. So click on it. I will now refresh it now. Here is the one. So if you refresh it, it will be coming. <clears throat> so we can even submit it by whom? We can even put it so that what happens? Only yours will be vis visible over here on the ESS job. This is this area is known as the ESS job. It's called Enterprise Scheduler Services job. It is now running fine. So once it is completed, we can very well do it. Now go to space. 
what is this? So in this place, I'm gonna click on the republish. I'm gonna click on republish. So click on it. Now go to the exports. And then here, I'm gonna put it as a PDF. The wheel icon export as a PDF. I'm click on the PDF. I'm not gonna export it as a PDF. Clear on something for that point. I'm gonna open it up. Click on it. So you can now see that it is 22, 22, 22 is allocated now. Dyna 1 only, and then 22, 22, 22 of 60 counters. Clear on this now, fine. So it has now worked the perfect way. I close this now. I close this. I go to the space. So it has to allocate about 22, 22, Dyna 1, lot 103. You know, go there and see. There's lot 103. Allocations are perfect. Any doubts? It is again open now, fine. It's open. And then if you go down, you know, the closed one also, it will not show now. Fine. Now to show the closed one also. Oh, it's not showing me the closed one. Also. So closed one. Previously, the closed picks also will be showing me, but it is not showing me because that is okay. And the, the moment request number is now coming. Yes, sir, if the closed ones will be shown, it will be confusing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is why what happens, they have removed it, I think, probably. It Previously, the, if you remove the, what happens, there is a blank number on the moment request number, it will not show the previous ones, will be printing the closed one also. So they might have modified it, actually. <clears throat> they may have modified it. When you open it, it's not coming. Previously, closed also will be coming. Also, the report is very big. Uh, huh? the is there any option to deselect a closed? Uh... No, no, it's not coming now. Fine. Now, okay. when I run it without anything, the closed one is not coming at all. Not coming. Okay. But the entire thing can be configured with the help of technical. Even right. the fix flip report itself will be done by technical as per the end client's requirement. So we'll not go there and then we'll not transact it. Huh? We'll not go and transact it. Whatever it is. Right click on the duplicate and we'll now go to the main area where you'll now find. So click on the home icon and then go to the main area. So go to the inventory area. You'll now see one is confirmed and then one is open actually. There will be two now. Fine. One is confirmed and then one is open. There are two other. So open. Open is in the blue, blue one and then confirmed is in the green one. So we can even click on the open one and then you can allocate it. Or otherwise, what you can do is you can now click on the, what about the task list. And then you go to the picks now, fine. Go to the picks and then go to the confirm picks. Go to the confirm picks. So there are multiple areas there. So on which whatever you can go to the picks and then click on the confirm picks. So by confirming the pick, you can enable it. Make a question of five moment request number is what? K01 and then give a tap. You'll now make a search. You can even make a search. So click on search. It will not show you whatever there. So from the info let itself, you can click and then come over here now. Or otherwise, you can even put a search criteria and then search it. Sometimes what happens is this is no due date is no coming. So what you do is you remove the other ones and then search. Make a blank on other areas now. No come. Otherwise, what happens is it will not be coming. So when you're searching it, what happens is you search only on your own criteria only. The remaining ones also because it's okay. But sometimes what happens is if it doesn't come, remove all of the criteria and then search for it. So click on the bottom and click on it. I'm not going to confirm it. So click on the picture. Uh, click on the hyperlink of it. Select all the lines together and then decide how much you want transact. 60, 60, 60. So click on what happens, confirm and close. It's not done. It's not done. Thank you. I'll go on and have a look at the stock. The stock would have got what happens. The total stock is only 400. Remember, the total stock is only 400. Only thing is you are moving it between two sub inventories. Actually. It is actually a sub inventory transfer. So there. It's a key 0102 and then go to have now. Click on search. Now click on search. Go there. So the total is only 200. Only thing is what in the staging area will be having 120. 120 has got this staging. Staging has got 120. So in the Dyna 1 1, what about it? They got 2 to 2 is also 40, 2 to 2 is also 40. Now the real tough one is going to come now, fine. So this is also in some companies they will be using it now. Fine. I will not use the real tough ones. So sometimes what happens is they will now to have only 103 lot or 104 lot. Let us say 103 is basically an anti glare screen and then 104 is a normal screen. So if you give 90 quantities of anti glare screen and then 10 corners of non glare, right? the, the, anti, the normal one, the customer will shout, Are you, this anti glare is looking very good. So, why don't you what happens, take it back this 10 and then give me only anti glare? So, it becomes very difficult for the sales representative. The customer sales representative, CSR, will now face a very tough task. So, they will now ask the inventory guy, Hey, you give everything as 103 or everything as 104. Do not mix at all. Do not mix the lot. Right? So, they do not want to mix the lot at all. Well, if you give everything as 104, fine, he will not see all the materials, what happens, everything is, uh, what happens, so-so, but he will not complain because he has not seen this at all. So you don't know about it. So in some companies, they will now enforce the lot while picking it. So this is called enforcing the lot. Fine, enforcing the lot. So here, what I'm going to do is, 
I am not going to go for 90 quantities of that. 90 quantities I'm going to do. So remember, on the first one, we have this. Number. So I'm going to use the same way, ascending, ascending, descending. 90 quantities will be the picking now. So here we have a 40, here you have a 40. Fine. That is what? Second transaction has got 40, first transaction has got 40, and then the fourth transaction has got 100 now. The fourth transaction has got 100 now. So how much it will allocate now? Tell me. For 90, how much it is going to allocate? 90, how, it will, how the allocation will be there? I have not changed the thing. Fine. It's going to be again, what happens? Ascending, ascending, and descending only. Fine. Tell me the allocation for the 90 now. Are you able to hear me? Anybody there? It will take a fresh lot. It will take a fresh lot. It will not take the partial lots. No, no. Take, no uh, partial uh, lot is allowed, actually. No partial lot is allowed. Yeah, it will take four, 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 four. No, from the transactions, oh, we have transaction numbers from each and every transaction. How much it will allocate? That is my question. It will allocate. No, it will not take partial no. lots, right? No, don't give me the history geography. I want mathematical numbers now. Fine. Then transaction two, how much? Transaction one, four, three, etc. How much? 60, yeah. 60 from okay. two and 30 from one. 40 from 140 uh, and from 310. Three, it will never come at all. Because the third transaction is another lot, actually. The third transaction is no, not, no. not for it. Not even allocated. It. it will take it will take four, 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 no, 90 quantities. 90 quantities. How much it will allocate? Can anybody let me clearly? Yes, sir. One go. You see serial number two, uh, two, one, four, the transaction three. Numbers. Uh, transaction numbers. Transaction numbers. Based on transaction numbers. Sir, yeah. 60, 40. One, two, it will be 40, 40. 60, 30. One, two will be 40, 40. 40, 40 and 30. 60, 30. The answer should be like this. From two, it will not pick up 40. From one, it will not pick up 40. And then from four, it will not pick up It will take only from four, 90. It will take only from four, 90. No, no, no. It will not pick up two. From two, it will not pick up 40. From one, it will not pick up 40. And then from four, it will not pick up 10. 40, 40, and 10, it will not pick up because the order is like this. It will not go here. It will not check, check for the 90. So 90 is not available into, we have got only 40 but, available. Uh, you know, right? But so you have enforced not lot, right? Yeah. Because here, 103, 103, 103. It will not allocate only from 2 and 4 only. Three, no, uh, lot, three, sir. You see, it will be picking from... 2, 1, three, 4 no. belongs to the same lot now. 2, 1, no, and no. 4 belongs to the same lot now. 4 is 104 lot, sir. Oh, correct, correct, correct. Two, okay. one, four, four belongs to the same four. lot only. Yes, if you are imposing the lot, on the locket, yes, fine. it will not pick up, it will not allocate on two 40 quantities, it will not allocate on one 40 quantities, and then the balance 10 quantities will be allocated on four now. Oh. Yes, yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Got it now, fine? Yeah, yeah. The balance one quantity will be allocated on four. Okay, fine. So now, what happens? If I am going to go for, let us say, what happens to 40, 40, and then 10. Now, right? So, if I am going to go for 190 quantities, how the allocation will be? 190 quantities I want. 190 quantities I want. How it will allocate? Tell me clearly. Think on this. This is a very tough question. You have to answer this. If you have answered this question, you have understood the picking very correctly. 190 is my quantity. So, you are enforcing the lot. Now. You are enforcing the lot. 190 is my quantity. So, how it will allocate? 40, 40, 110. 40, 40, 110 is wrong. <laughs> it is very correct. You know, what happens? It is 40, 40, 100, and then 10. What happens is very correct. But here you are mixing the lot. You are not enforcing the lot actually. 40, 40, 110 is okay. But since you are enforcing the lot, it will not do like that at all. It will be only 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 100. Wrong. 40, 40, 100 is wrong because we need 180 quantities. It will fail. It will fail is 100% correct. Who is this? Abhishek. Abhishek okay. is very correct. It is going to fail now. If you go for 180 quantities, it will now fail actually. But we have allowed partial pick, sir. In that, uh... Uh, no, partial pick is allowed, but we don't have a quantity on 103 at all or 104. Either you must have a quantity on 103 or 104, then only what happens is that the pick will succeed actually. Okay. 104 also, we don't have 190 and 103 also, we don't have 180. So the total allocation is going to fail. Allocation cannot drive inventory negative, remember. I am not going to go for 190 quantities and then I will not fail and show. I will not enforce the lot also. I will not enforce the lot. I will not go for 190 quantities and then I will not fail and show first of all. Any, everybody is clear now. Fine. It is going to fail. Because I don't have 190 quantities on 103 as well as 104 also in this case. The allocation will fail actually. Are you clear on the simulation now? Fine. I am not going to simulate for 190 quantities and then I will not show you how I am going to fail. Okay? So I have to fail. Murga, Murga, I have to fail. Now. So I will go there. 
So click on it. So we'll now go to this place. Fine. Let us now fail first of all. So go to this place. Go to the start, and then go to the inventory overview. Let me create a moment request now. Fine. So before which, what happens? I have to what happens? I change my picking rule for imposing the lot. Thank you, Thomas. So let us now go there. I'll now go to the manage picking rules. Fine. So I will now go to the what's called this is the picking rule now. Fine. This is the what's called this is assignment actually. Fine. Click on edit now. Fine. I will now what happens? Unassign it. Fine. And then click on save and close now. Save and close. And then go there. So click on done and then come out of it. Let me modify the picking rule. Fine. Click on it. I'll now edit it. I'm going to impose the loss. So go there. Remove the activeness and then let me enforce the lot. And partial picking is normally allowed now. Fine. Over there. So I'm enforcing the lot. Fine. Click on active now. So click on save and close now. Fine. It is an enforce. Lot is enforced. Fine. Go there. Go to the manage assignments and then I'll now make it as active. Click on edit. I'll now make it as active. So done. So enforcing the lot is now complete. Now fine. Let us now go on and create our picking rule. Now. Click on it. Now go to this place. Now go there. So click on it. We will now create a moment request and then we will now fail. Fine. Go to the place. So go to this place. I will now go to the manage moment request and then let us now create a moment request. <clears throat> so go there. So click on plus now and then I am going to fail. So click on plus now. So I will now go there. Is the key zero one underscore mr underscore three now? The third one. So third one I want to fail actually. Go there. So go there. Go to the place. Go to the moment request transfer now. Fine. Go there. I will now put the destination sub unit staging now. <clears throat> staging is a sub unit. Fine. Go there. Go there. I will now click on plus now. Fine. Click on plus. So go there. Is the key zero one. And zero two. So one hundred ninety is the quantity. So click on it. I will now give a subject. The third moment request is now under creation of fine. Come on, come on again. So go there and then query on this one. Create zero one zero two one. Let us see. One and two are closed, and then third one is now pre-approved. Let us now go to the bond process. So I am now going to allocate it. So let us go there. So click on it and then resubmit this concurrent. Now fine. Click on resubmit the concurrent. So go there. Click on resubmit the concurrent. So click on it. Click on it. You pray to God that you had to fail. Now. <clears throat> so click on it. No running. No see. The hundred and eighty point is just to fail. Actually. So it will not one ninety. It will allow it. Then ten only will fail. No, the entire thing will not pass. Otherwise, it will not fail. It's a very tough topic. That is why I have gone slow actually in this place. Everybody has to pass on this test. No man. You have to do it. Now it's only a very simple simulation. In reality, what happens? You may even have very complex scenarios. What is this place? And then click on the republish button. Republish. So click on the wheel icon. Export the PDF. Export the PDF. It's not getting exported. So click on this and then open it up. So go there. No data found. Gone. It is. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake here. I made another mistake. No problem. I made a mistake actually. Oh no, no mistake actually. It is not a mistake at all. It is not a mistake at all because I have no running rerunning now. Fine. So I was rerunning it and not made a mistake. At all. The month process. Since I am rerunning it, fine. The what I was release approved lines is yes only. <laughs> now I will now go and create my final one. Fine. Go to the place. Let me create my final. It is for ninety. Which means it has failed, sir. Huh? It has failed. Actually. Was the release? It has, release yeah, failed. it has to show me as what allocation failed, but it is now saying no output. Now fine. It is now showing no. Output. Maybe uh, what happens? They might have changed the way in which it is representing it. Actually, so K zero one and K zero one underscore and M R underscore four four and go to play. The programs also have to complete with warning something like that. Right? One second, one second. What are you saying? This place. It is not under the warning or what? Click on it. Export. The status shows oh, it is succeeded. Succeeded. But it need to be something warning, right? So that we can. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We look at it now. Find out here. We not see whether anywhere it is not shown there or not. So it's not saying only no data form. Nothing else is coming. So now we now go for ninety quantities and then see. Now find click on it. Now go for the ninety quantities. Now go to this place. Go to the manage mode request. So click on it. I will now go to this place and then go to the transfers. And then I will now choose the destination supplementary. So the destination that we state now. We will now go for ninety quantities. So go to that. Is the key zero one zero two and then give it up. And this time it is ninety points. Ninety. Go there. Click on submit now. Find balance. Go there. So destination is now shown. Find so is this balance. I will now go to what monitor process and then now re resubmit it. So click on yes. Will now make a check whether everything is okay or not. Not done. So we we'll go and make a search now. Find the fourth one has to come now. Fourth one. Fourth one is clear. 
So if you go to that, what's called monitor process menu, right? Murga, Murga, it has to pink. So the fourth one has got succeeded. Okay. So this time it has to pink. This time I had to have a partial on export field. So click on it, open it up. Click on it, open it up. Now you see all the three allocations are on two to two, what happens? The 40 is allocated. 22, 22, 22, the 40 is allocated. The remaining 42, what happens? The 10 has got allocated. But this has to come first now in the printer. Why it is not coming? One guy told me that the reason for this not coming as a second actually in another training, but I have forgotten this now. Why 222 has come first and then 222 is actually what happens if you go on and see in this place, fine, ascending, descending, fine. Here it is not going to unlock it two first and then one next and then four next. But while printing it, it is not printing the first transaction and then it's on. He told me that why it has come like this, but I have forgotten that. Now. <laughs> right? 222 will not come here, it will not come only in this next one. Because of so and so, so and so reasons, but I have forgotten the Sir, the picking is based on location, sir. So, picking the picker will yeah, go okay. to the first location. The two, oh. two, twos in the uh, alphabetical ways is the second location. So, mm -hmm. then the fourth is coming as a third location. Yeah, something like that he told me exactly. Yeah, yeah, this is the picking. See, location is exactly same. No? Fine. All the locations same. He is very correct. Who is this? Raju, uh, 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 Tokyo Raja, na? Dana, sir. Dana, Dana, Dana is saying. Yeah. Dana is an expert in West Coast, no? Fine. So it is basically the picker has to go to the first location and pick it, and then afterwards go to the next location and pick it. Right? It is actually based on location, it's very correct. Right? But I don't know, all of them are same location only, but there is some criteria on which what happens, the printing happens as per this only. So he will now go there, pick 40, and then afterwards go there. It's a very correct one. The nice is correct, but uh, everything is the same location only, but there is such criteria on such criteria like this only. Dana is very correct. So try to analyze this now. I think there is some locator order, right? Means for two to two, it locator is order. Order. no, no. If you see order this one. now, fine. So two is the first transaction. Two is the first transaction based upon what ascending, ascending, and descending. Ascending, ascending, and descending. Number two transaction. In the sheet, there is locator one. order, and the locator order also. I think we have given uh, for two to two, it is one. Maybe, maybe, maybe you are correct now, fine. Locator order is one, so it is now printing the first one first, and then the second one next. Maybe I'm not sure about it. Look at orders one here. So printing is now happening because as per the print only, the inventory boy will now go to the appropriate locator and then pick first and then afterwards next, afterwards next one. Maybe the locator order may be coming in the picture for printing actually. Very correct, maybe. So there is a logic behind printing two to one. Fine. So Dana was saying location and then you are saying locator order, maybe something, maybe that. Yes, sir. If we give if we giving the location, the locator order, that will take a precedence. So yeah, that so order. Dana is also concluding that fine. Since the locator order is coming, it prints the locator order first. As per the locator order only, the print will happen, not as per the location actually. Not for that. Good, 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 good. Dana. So Dana is a big man in West Coast. Uh, Dana, if you have any openings also, you can post in our group actually. Fine. So people are wrong. But sir, locator is the descending. But sir, no, no, no. Locator is, is the locator is descending, maybe. But this may be descending. Allocation is based upon the descending. But the number uh, is maybe first one. Find that it is, a, it is printing as per this one. Allocation is as per the descending. Allocation is as per the descending. And it's okay. Allocated it. But uh, printing is as per the number. That is what Dana and the guys also. Maybe. Got it. Okay. Printing, so is, we, yeah. printing is as per the locator order, I think. And not by the allocation order. Actually. This completes an introduction to picking rules and moment request. In doubts, not fine. If you have understood this concept totally, fine. Can you put a green tick on your things? A very important one. Can you put a green tick? We'll now see how many of you have understood it. In the participants pane, there is a green tick mark. So if you understood it, fine. Uh, so SM Raja has understood, fine. RK, Ravi is a very tough topic, actually. Excellent. Others who are finding it difficult, they have to be, you can put a go slow so that what happens, you can even go through the records, actually. Right, right. Great, no, fine. Just watch how many of you have put a green tick. And then uh, those who are nearer to you, what happens, you can even discuss with them when you go to the field, actually. When you go to the field, you can very well discuss it. So it's not a very easy topic. It's a very, very tough topic. Do you like it? My explanation? Anybody can open up your mic and then speak now. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, no, no. But you don't, don't say like, uh, I'm going a little bit uh, uh, slow. Uh, <laughs> we don't see any difference at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's also fast. <laughs> Oh, God. See any difference at all? Mm. 
<laughs> okay then and please note that so now i will now leave for a cup of coffee now because i cannot talk for so much of a time actually i will now leave for a coffee and then it is now uh, 7:15 now fine 8 5 pm india i will now be back so let me be back at 8 5 pm india now so let me make one of them and then i will now continue on the next topic now make the co host so at 8 5 pm we will now be back you can even remain here i will not go out and then come back after coffee so i will now leave the meeting and then come back